Mo Farah, your final ever marathon, your final ever London marathon. From a performance point of view, how did it go? Um, from a uh, performance uh, point of view, I don't think it went. I don't. It didn't go as well as I wanted. I wanted to run between two zero five and two zero seven. That's what I thought. I'm capable from my training and my training partners. But as you said, you never know. You never know. I turned up here, prepared well, gave it all, um, and didn't go as planned. But in terms of the support and the crowd, were incredible. Um, very emotional day. Yeah, I was going to say I was going to come on to that as a as a spectacle, as an experience. Was it a nice way to go out? Um, it would have been a little bit better to be able to run a bit more faster, or uh, well, to be the first Brit uh, and say bye bye. But what, uh, there's nothing you can do. Um, you give it all and that's where you are and, and I think that now you can finally see why I want to stop uh, because my body can't quite do what it used to do. So this is confirmed, you made the right decision? I've definitely made the right decision. I just want to thank everyone who's been part of my journey and the people who come out here today give me massive support. Uh, it didn't matter if it was raining or <laughs> but people were still out there in the street packed and that's what kept me going. People will think maybe you're being a little bit harsh on yourself. 2.10 is not a bad time at all, given the conditions. How, how tough was it rain-wise? First half was quite tough, but at the same time, um, you know, everybody's went through that, you know, it was raining and the guys run 2.01. So, oh, uh, 2.01, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, second fastest ever. Second fastest ever. So, and again, it shows that anything is possible.